Okay, happy Friday, everyone. Um, Lindsay Duff here, just getting it uh, kicked off today. Um, all right, so what's this telling me? It's a little, um, I don't want to say confusing, but it's conflicting. Um, we do still have up here on a higher time frame. It is a mix between up and down. You can see this. Oops. You can see this here. Uh, it does say down, but the MACDs are leading high reach time. The price is leading lower. It's kind of a, it's just kind of a mixed bag, I guess. The MACD say strength down, so I want to pull this off just in case. Um, I really wanted to catch a short here, but it wasn't prepared, so <clears throat> there's way too much strength in the MACDs down to take a uh, long on anything right now. Ooh. I want to say this is pushing back up. That's what I'm going to do. So these MACDs are reacting here. They're not pushing down. There's a ton of strength down on the higher one, but it's right at the zero line. Just watching these MACDs here. I'm just waiting for one to pop up, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. It's like I can't get my brains off the longs. Still a lot of strong push through on the MACDs. On either of these. I'm going to do this one shot. A little late on giving it a shot. It's these MACDs right here, the higher pivot here. This may come back and stop me out because I got such a terrible entry. Mm, this lower pivot here is not looking great. You know, it feels like it's really against things here. Watching these MACDs to slow it down. It's this very weak movement in the MACDs that really has me. It's just kind of a weird. Mm. Just laughing at myself now. Basically what I was doing was trying to trade the movement on the 610 and not paying attention to what the higher time frames were telling me. Every time I do that, I end up in the wrong. And this may be where the push-up comes from. There we go. That's where the push-up is coming from. I was just a little early on it. I needed to really wait a little bit longer. Now, did I think this was going to go for a million points? No, but I definitely knew it had the potential to push back. Um, just by the... Um, by the behavior. I mean, we're making higher pivots on the 4181. There was a pull away from the EMAs that said we were going to snap back to it. There was the weakness of the 1597. There was the potential for divergence on the 610. It's just a little early. So yeah, I mean, I was trading the 610 instead of giving my higher time frames the benefit of the doubt, I guess you could say, or benefit of waiting for them to tell me when the time is right. And then this is the right spot for the short trade. For some reason, I just can't bring myself to do it. Ooh, right into those areas is going to be tough to take a long. That's the right thing to do, though, right now. Ooh, there we go. That's why we don't trade directly into areas that have held. That's one tip behind there. <sighs> I'm just going to have to pass. Here it goes. All right, let me step away and make some coffee. All right, so we're back. So what do I like to say? Let's give us a shot at the long. Oh, 
Add to this. MACD's not taking off. What I don't like is the string coming back at it. I'm really going to have to give a push up right now. Since when we pull back here, I feel like I'm a sitting duck right now. Get a floor here. And if these two keep pushing up, we've got some areas that we have to get past. So that's where I'm struggling. So 22, 24. Let's out of the way for a minute. All right, if this doesn't push up higher, then I'm getting out of this trade. I'm really good to push up right here. These MACDs haven't rolled down at all yet on the 1597. We're still angling up. These flat EMAs are really helping me to stay in this. And it really doesn't want to be two ticks behind here, which is one tick up from where I'm at. And listen to myself and get out here. Or reverse if everything is sitting down. So evaluate about that, that about yourself, Lindsay. All right, let's let this puppy go. <clears throat> let's see the possibilities. So I had my head wrapped around a long, it just wasn't working for me. I have I had my uh, thoughts uh, around some other things today. I had to take the kids to camp this morning and going out of town in a little bit. So, yep. So what needs to happen here at this point is it needs to really push through here. The MACDs are struggling a bit. Giving a nice push down on the 4181. There we go. First one hit. Didn't take me out. All right. It's not pushing through. MACD is leaning a lot higher here on the 1597. I really don't anticipate this area to hold it up. So let's go ahead and take this one out. There we go. So next one. Some major potential for divergence on the 1597, but the 4181 says nothing of the sort. I kind of want to be behind this two pivots, but it'll put me right in an area that could possibly give us a bounce. So I'm going to hold off on that just a little bit longer now. I really like the way this is looking for it to go down. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take my point and a quarter. 
point. Let's pull this down here. We'll just take that point off of it. This is starting to push up pretty hard. It's rolling with some major potential for divergence. It doesn't mean that it won't continue going down. It's just not going to happen from here. Okay. So it's a little early on this one. Yeah, I was just trying to make things happen here. Got turned around, realized it, got back in to the downside. So today is obviously not my <laughs> super best day for trading. But hey. We all have those kind of days, right? It's got a lot on my mind. So I think here in just a moment, I know I have a call soon, but I cannot remember what time. Oh, this is where we're going to get our next push down. All right. So sometimes I do this. I mean, I'm in, I was anticipating a push to the upside. I did. I was a patient and didn't wait for it. I mean, eh, I could have taken it here and gotten a little bit of profits. This one was just impatience, and it came back to bite me the boo boo. I couldn't even get out in time. This one, yeah, still impatience. I had room to run back to the EMAs here, but um, it really was showing some impatience on my part. Um, and then turn around, took the short, took it again, waited for a pullback just a little bit further. I had high hopes because it hadn't worked out in the opposite direction. So I was like, Ooh, it's going to go forever. But no, now we've got a major W pivot happening. Um, yeah, I mean, it was, it was, we're able to anticipate it looking at this right here. Um, and I'm going to show you something else. And, you know, I have this sitting off to the side. I do not use it as a major chart for trading. I use this just to see, you know, where things are at. And there was a support area, even though these EMAs were wide open, look how we are above the zero line. So um, there was a great area for a bounce to the upside. It was just, I was very impatient waiting for it to happen. <laughs> Sometimes the weirdest things will happen. I'm some chart. I want to get it really quick. Nice. <clears throat> yeah, this is the W pivot. But it's already at the top with the W. Or, yeah. It's just, I can't take it here. All right, so let's see what I've done today. I've got a bunch of different things that I want to. Uh, God, I sound like a broken record every time I said that. Say that. Heck, I made uh, what almost eleven points on this, but I was down four to start with, which I didn't even realize. So let's see. Two. And it's down for, remember guys, I am doing two contracts, which before long I'll be switching up. I'm kind of comfortable with two contracts. Um, it does pretty well for me. So later on I might switch it up, but for now I'm going to stick with that for a while. Um, I do suggest that people switch it up, but you know, it's really what is your personal preference. Probably gonna stop it there for the day, but we're gonna watch just for a little bit longer. Okay, so it seems as though I have no <laughs> um, concentration left. I've been working on some things. I'm actually leaving to head out of town, so that's probably part of why my focus has been so off. I took the kids to camp today. You know, paying attention to those things are very, very, very important because um, you can really determine, you know, what your day is going to be like if you are certain to pay attention. And if you're just kind of lottie dying it, then, you know, you end up giving back a lot of money. And so I was lottie dying it. Yes, that's a technical term. Earlier this morning, and now I, you know, I went back and got into focus mode. You know, I did see the uh, the short happening here. By that time, 
brain is already not even with the market anymore. So anyways, that's going to wrap it up for today. I hope you have a fabulous weekend. Um, you know, I may or may not be trading as we're coming up to you know, Independence Day here. So, which is on, I don't even know what day it is, to be honest with you. I mean, obviously it's the 4th of July, but I don't know what day, day. I just don't pay attention to that kind of stuff as often as I should. So I'm looking at the calendar really quick. That is on Tuesday. So, Monday, we may not be available um but that's about it so i hope y'all have an excellent weekend don't forget like subscribe send your friends uh you know if they like trading or anything or if you enjoy what i do if you don't then don't send anybody i'm cool with it either way have a wonderful weekend and i hope that all your little trading dreams come true